This guy, Jenkins, Simon Jenkins, this guy's joke. I mean, check out this guy. Look at this guy. I think it's actually a, a comedy photograph as well. Kind of wolf man if I ever saw one. So Jenkins has written this book. The Celts, a sceptical history. Right? So they've been talking about this on one of the groups, quite a, a large Facebook group that's into archaeology. So the guy is, though, he's a writer for The Guardian. So I'm not really a massive newspaper fan, um, but according to people like Jonathan N. Fuller, who who's a... Uh, he's like an Extinction Rebellion guy. He reads every single newspaper. He like reads every single word in every single newspaper, like every single thing. And uh, he's he's not really um, the greatest fan of any of the newspapers. Like he's in fact he's like one of the he's quite um, a prominent newspaper critic at the moment. Um, he's critiquing quite a lot of the newspapers are doing. And I'm not um, a great fan of the newspapers because they're always just joking it, it's a joke it's, it's comedy that's why boris johnson um doesn't want a special mobile phone that's got security because he likes the fact that the media are on his phone all the time and commenting on his life and having the foreplay with him he he likes the engagement and the comedy value of it um which is why he's been controlled and um manipulated by the press anyway I don't think the press have a right to know every single thing that we do. I don't think that if I paint a painting now in my room or I make a model of something and hide it, I don't think that the Guardian has a legal right to know what I have created in the privacy of my own home and the next day make a loose remark on it on the newspaper and comment on it. That's theft. Is it theft of intellectual property? He's got no right. Jenkins has got no right to know what I'm doing now. I mean, I'm in my own house. There's people putting gates on their houses, which I am really upset about people putting gates on the old village pub that was really beautiful because they don't want people to come up the drive. Now, this is what the Tories are doing. The Tories are wanting people to try... Um, they're encouraging people to fit gates on the houses because they don't want people to be able to go around and knock on the door, ask them to sign a petition or... They're wanting everyone to be boxed in the houses, and then when they put the Mark Zuckerberg headset on, the ray bands, and then start getting the signals from Elon Musk, then they can start speak. Um, they can pop up video suggestions for the kids in one room, secluded off, and start influencing them. And then they're influencing the parents to buy this, rip the garden out, put this in your garden, put that in your garden, go to B and Q and buy this, even though people in the house might hate that thing that you know the same parents against um the children by terrible ideas for houses because it's been put on the tv it's been suggested and then in another room the influencing the kids now popping up with something else you know they've got um these gamers popping up and they can control all the suggestions um i find that i'm not even wanting to go we've got a beautiful garden where um, it could have been better until um, my parents totally spoiled it um, it was be it was even more beautiful when we got here. I don't even want to sit out in the garden now because they've allowed them to build houses all around us. They've ruined um, the name of the street that it used to be. They've ruined the style of it um, by letting the previous people demolish houses, which was what the name of the street was based on, the style of those houses. Um, I don't even want to sit outside in the garden. I can't even look. I don't even want to look over across at what they've built. I, don't even want I can't even go outside of the house and look across now because I don't like it. I don't like what they've made and I don't want to look at it. So I have to walk around with my head down at the floor when I'm in a zone. I don't even want to be outside in the garden. This is what the Tories want to do. And because they've got the power to do it and the contracts and developers are all making money out of BlackRock and Vanguard, right, is um, Jenkins and his cronies, now we're all going to end up staying inside. All I'm doing is on Facebook, on, on a group clicking on like, like, like pictures of stuff that are outside that they're actually going out and ruining. They're actually destroying all the things that are like, so look at a photo of it on your screen because that's all that's left. And then they don't want you to go out and do anything. They don't want you to stay inside. And then they've got to your kids. They've got your kids fenced in in school so nobody can get into the school. I can't go to my old school and remember the memories of when I was younger. I remember in the playground, my own nostalgia of being a kid and growing up. They've blocked me off from that. 
Then, you know, you've got Prince Andrew and Prince Philip and Prince Charles and Earl Dartsmouth. They've um, absolutely spoiled and obliterated his local heritage site, his Celtic heritage site, um, down the road um, and obliterated it, built houses on it, written it in their own names of Windsor. Then Earl Dartsmouth's building houses on blitzing the rest of his ancient heritage site and putting his name on the buses, darts flying around for Dartsmouth. These, then they're saying, you know, the Celts didn't exist. These people are absolute demons and fiends. They're absolutely trying to erase who they are and, and rewrite history in their own name and image. It, it, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, right, Jenkins wouldn't know how to write history if he was born in a Roman baths, um, you know, if you read, you know, the writings of Strabo, the writings of these Roman writers who wrote accounts of Celts, it's to me, it's straightforward. It's straightforward and plain and simple. I know when they're lying, I know when they're telling the truth, I know why they're telling the truth, and I know when, then I know why they're lying, and I know why they te- why they want to. I know what's misinformation. I know what's correct information. I know exactly the structure of the Celtic people. I know exactly the stru- the structure of the Celtic people, how it was, why it was like that. Right now, if Jenkins, right? I don't really, you know, I've got no interest in being famous or any pursuits of being famous, unlike Swampy, who likes to, you know, have his photograph around everywhere in the newspapers, you know, being a bit of a, you know, like Swampy is um, a, 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 an activist, you know, but he's really prominent on the, you know, in, in the Stonehenge scene, Glastonbury scene, activist scene, you know, the New Age scene, all around there, you know. Um, I've just commented the other day that he he looks a bit like Terence McKenna in a way. He, he actually he has got a very he has got a very prominent Terence McKenna look about him. So i actually when you see him properly. Um, well, he's not got long dreadlocks anymore, you know. But you know, as for Jenkins, I mean, I, I, after this, you know, I've actually done quite a bit of when I can be bothered when I can actually be bothered to, and I haven't really been to good with my vocabulary recently because I've not been well but on, on on you know when I'm on form and when I have done some good writing I've actually got comments from people that it's a well written piece you know I've actually you know had people comment that like when I when I can be bothered to write properly that it's well written clever creative and you know rich in context but you know people you know f- Reporters, these trained reporters, like what you see from the Huddersfield Examiner and, you know, other writers, it's just absolutely terrible. It's like smutty, trashy, cheap. It's almost like it's some sort of Beano magazine. They never tell you the truth. All the accounts from the councillors are not um, true or accurate. There's a lot of misinformation, particularly Tory ones. It's so terrible. And as I was, as what I got on to, right... They now, the newspapers now, they they pretty much know everything that you do if they have an interest in you, if you happen to be doing something that they might be interested in. um, Then it's it's intimidation, you know. They're straight through your phone. They're listening to what you're doing. They know what you've done. And they like to rub it in and drop hints and comments in there, particularly on the front page of a newspaper. If you've been doing a prominent campaign or if you're someone who has been challenging the government, Basically, if you are a problematic person to the BlackRock Vanguard empire, who own the Guardian and all the newspapers and the majority of shares in them, no matter what party they claim they're representing, whether it's, you know, don't matter whether it's Conservative, Labour, Lib Dem, whatever, they've got the fingers in all the pies, they've got the shares on everything, they've got the fingers on the auto queue readings, what people are reading out, Philip Schofield, all, every brand, no matter what brand it is, commercial radio, everything that goes in your ears, right? You know, and after the, you know, people are actually starting to understand this now that there are decent channels like Russell Brand and Anonymous and, um, you know, you've got some political parties like Reclaim Party starting to get onto this subject now, you know, that, you know, they're not being straight with us and there's, you know, manipulation. All the things that the main stations don't want to talk about, which is how their own adverts and contents affect people negatively and the people behind it who have been funding it all, you know, um, 
You see, part of when you get into history and heritage, you have to understand and be interested in really knowing what's going on now because it's about seeing and understanding and knowing what's going on now to have the ability to do that. If you can't, if you don't really, really know what is happening now and what is going on now, why it's happening, who's behind it, what the influencing factors are and the effects of it religiously, politically, socially, in the full context and extent of what's going on and not just the, what they you know, what they claim is going on, what's presented to us, like the actual truth of it, then you can't get even scratch the surface of knowing what was going on back then, you know, before the birth of Christ in Iron Age Britain and in Gaul, you, you really won't have a clue. So there's no point even writing. I mean, and just because you've got a job in a newspaper doesn't mean anything, you know, Anyone who's got the balls to, you know, be in the press and go in a newspaper, you know, anyone can have the balls to go on TV if they want to. I don't want to because I don't particularly, it's not, it's not in my interests. But it annoys me when characters like Jenkins pop up, you know, claiming, you know, that there's no such thing as the Celts, right? When, I mean, to start with, they claim, you know, that the, the the word the word you know the word for the Celts anyway is what what is it? It's Celts, it's Celts, Celts, Celts. I mean, if there's any other word that sounds like that that's remotely close to it, then tell me. But it ain't tin, lead, copper, kilt, you know, crown, chrome, dog, cat, monkey, or chimpanzee, right? Now we all know it's clearly obvious that the Indo-European language, which actually stretched all the way from India to Ireland, is from what the counting system is based on for the numbers, was the earlier um, pre-European language, which actually the other languages later evolved from. Because it, it obviously is with the counting system number. Now, if... They've got the same counting system, right? And it goes all the way far back that far. Then it, it's just a no-brainer that some of the oldest and major deities that they had obviously would originate and go back to that same language. Because... In the evolutionary context unfolding of mankind, which is now clearly demonstrated on many websites that have got all the evidence of the, the actual, all the missing link between man and ape now, all the different stages, is all filled in completely anyway. They've got going all the way back, you know, to Africa. So, and Dr. Dennis McKenna, who is the expert in the field of psychedelics and other substances, which it, they're professing now are a key major player and role in evolution, not just environmental factors, but various compounds that are not only in plants and trees and leaves, but also in f different psychedelics, which it, it, it even know how it has evolved consciousness through various means of um, neuroplastic acupuncture and, and, and neurological... Um, adaptation which has facilitated the growth of different and the growth and evolutionary path of different regions of the mind and facilitated the ability for reflection thought understanding maybe we had an advantage from being in the trees because we had a better developed hand from climbing which gave the apes an advantage when they were going around because they had a better advantage than other animals like bears and um, other creatures that were enabled to they walked on all fours because we had been climbing the trees and our hands had an advantageous evolutionary 
um, adaptation, an environmental factor from the trees, tree hugging you call it, that's why we've got a very long established connection with trees and why when people take a lot of compounds they feel a connection and can actually communicate and read with trees um, through some real, very real um, ability that is in us, right, which is, is likely... You know, it's no different from facilities like being able to send switches north, you know, which which birds have to fly north and south. It's a magnetic um, reading, an ability to sense that magnetic reading. It's clearly obvious that we have got a ability to read trees through what they are and give off. You know, but, but explaining what that is, you don't necessarily explain it with words. You have to... Um, it's like, you know, um, Braille in a way, but Braille is only reading the surface of something. It, it doesn't involve any other faculty. It, 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 it's a purely touch faculty. It's not based on multiple faculties like you've got smell, hearing, sound. Um, you know, th there are vibrational faculties. If you pick, if you end, if you end up electrocuting yourself, right? If you if you've ever electrocuted yourself properly on the mains, it goes up. You like I've been electrocuted up to around my elbow, and it, 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 you, to feel the waves of electricity, oh, you can actually feel them. Oh, oh yeah, these are the waves. Like so, like the actual wave, the electrical power that drives. You know, when you turn your vacuum cleaner on, and then you've got a magnet inside it that it's like, did, 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 and then it like propels it around. You've got repulsion, attraction, repulsion, attraction, repulsion, attraction, repulsion, attraction, really fast which spins the motor, these are the electric pulses, electric waves driving through it. You can actually feel the waves driving up your arm. You're actually feeling a wave form. But to actually understand electricity, to feel it actually coming through your body is an additional dimension to understanding what it is because you can actually feel it. Now, to understand what a tree actually is and understand what memory is and what how does a tree even achieve these shapes and get to those shapes because it's, it's growing towards a certain thing you know it, it, it just to speak about it in language you know or i'm you know, isaac newton or whatever to, to describe it through a purely linguist linguistic aspect is missing out half of the picture unless you actually experience and feel it you can explain to somebody what it's like to be in a swimming pool right but if you've never even ever been in a puddle or if you've never even been you know in water if you manage to have lived in a desert all your life you can't you know you can ex describe to someone you know what it's like to be in a swimming pool but unless you jump in it you actually like all right yeah this is what it's like you know like a front cover nirvana you, you, unless you actually have this experience with a tree and then you can actually feel a connection with it and receive a communication symbiosis between you and the tree it, it, it you probably you know you might not even believe it i mean you could you you, you might not be a believer in snow if you live in the sahara because you've never been uh you know north sweden you know, you might not even believe snow exists. You can describe it, but until you actually, you know, okay, I get that it's white and that it's, it's you know, but how do you know what the concept of cold is? Well, you know, maybe in the desert it's cold at night, but, you know, what would you, you know, you can say, you know, describe what something is when it's frozen. You can say, all right, then the water sort of stops moving and stays very rigid and these words are telling you that it becomes a solid, like this piece of wood I've got here, and the water can be... I can pick it up in my hand a little bit like wood, right? But, you know, it's, that's not holding an ice cube, is it? There are, I can say, right, I touch a tree and you can read some of its memories and part of what it is um, like sort of to be it because you're actually getting some of the um, vibrations from it. Like you can feel it, it's just going up your arms. So you can feel the intermittent wave patterns and what the frequency is of electricity, uh, and feel kind of like you know obviously your touch is only what your nerves are obviously the electricity translates into an on-off signal of your arm you know obviously when you sit on your arm 
you can't feel anything because there's nothing there. Anything you can feel or touch at the end of the day is only um, a... It is only to what our ability has evolved to sense it as. Your touch sensors are only a neural network of receptors, right? But that is what touch is. You know, if it's like an empty piece of wood, then it, it might not have the touch to what extent we have evolved to touch. But a tree is alive and does have a network of sensing things to the ratio of what it can sense it to be so therefore it, it has got a life and network in it and it's actually less evolved than ours is so if ours is more evolved than the trees is then what's to say that we can once you make contact with that tree that you can pick up the vibrations of what's going through it to the extent that you know obviously the feeling of electricity in your arm is only the concoction of what com what it feels like for a human's arm to combine with electricity. But our uh, what we are is the ability to feel what things are. That is what an arm is. An arm, an arm's purpose, other than being able to grasp something and pick it up when it's not rigged to drop it, like in some of those cheating toy games they've got, the arm is the manifestation of the pinnacle of evolution of feeling what something is. So if you feel a tree, we are, other than, you know, as well as dolphins and whales and whatever you want us, we are the cutting edge of the embodiment of feeling what something is and that ain't just a mouth moving that is a hand touching something right now the problem with jenkins right is that he ain't an expert in psychedelics and he ain't an expert in trees and he's not an expert in monkeys and apes evolution in fact he's just a journalist for the guardian right so when it comes to Defining a word like the Celts and what they are and to what extent of people that covered, right? Jenkins is qualified in practically nothing. He's qualified in reading newspapers and being told stories by other people that may or may not be true and then writing it down in his own words in a newspaper, right? That's what Jenkins is qualified in, which to me is not, you know, it doesn't really qualify for much. Jenkins is not qualified in, you know... Um, assessing how, you know, such a word would come about and where did it come from in the first place, you know, like a counting system for numbers, which clearly and obviously comes from a much older language. And if those creatures have got to a point where they can even speak and use words and part of the evolutionary process we know approved by Dennis McKenna is to have a spiritual experience and reflect on what it is to be human, which gives you the ability to think about what it is to be human and understand things in front of you and before you and what, what, what's happening and count, speak, you know, pick things up, use tools and all the rest of it, which has been banned um, by the church because they didn't want us to have, be hands on with the substances, be the ones to keep that only for the elite, you know, only Lord Baron half and off, and Lord Hanningfield and, you know, whoever, Theresa May's, God knows what, um, freaky sexual woodland um, guilds or whatever they initiate them into in the forests with, you know, you know, Baron Munchausen's moustache and a rolled up red carpet and uh, an orb and, and a crown and the Archbishop of Canterbury doing some strange rune for ritual because he pretends that, you know, church has got nothing to do with anything whatsoever other than reading out of a book, you know. Um... You know, it's all procession and parade. You know, it's not the not getting into the real thing because half of the archaeologists have been completely trashing half of the original sites uh, and not allowing us to use them and go onto them and actually make use out of them for the real purpose. And particularly the ones in Scotland, you know, watching the moon go over the top of the recumbent stones because they've got forests and trees to grow there and block it off. And they didn't want people to be using it because they wanted everyone to think that the prehistoric culture were stupid. Like, you know, but I think it, Jenkins is stupid, you know. I mean, it would even, you know, it, it's a waste of time even reading this, 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 you know, because, you know, Jenkins is not qualified. Now, the thing with the word the Celts, 
Kells, it clearly, like the engine counting system, and the numbers are similar because they evolved obviously from the same words and the same counting system. The main major gods, which the Gaulish people, you know, and the Albion people, the one of the main gods is the 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 the, the Kali, the Kal. And the Indians have got a god called Kali, right? Now, that god, the full clarity on what that god is, right, it is the, it's, it's part of the mother goddess, but you get these bad aspects of a woman um, and you, you've got to get past the horrific parts you know you know and you've got there's there's both good and bad in it right this is the it's all to do with the mother the, the mother i mean they even you know they, they've, they, they've they've got the word in in actually in the actual scottish gaelic welsh gaelic irish gaelic word they've got callig for hag which is an, an old woman but, you know, everyone just says, oh, it means, like, some old hag or old woman. But yet, what is the old woman figure? The, the it Old, it means as in ancient old. Not old in just old. Ancient. The ancient woman, the old ancient woman is, it's like the lady in the lake. It's, it's the, 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 it's, you know, the mother of or what we all evolve on a born inside, which is what you get without question or doubt in any, um, you know, there's no question about it. It's, it's, it's established, whether it's Terence McKenna, whether it's Dennis McKenna, whether it's Graham Hancock, whether it's Jonathan Ott, whether it's um, Paul Stamps, you know, it, it Stamets. It, it, the, 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 there's not even any question or doubt about it because it is the ancient woman of which we are born from and have evolved with through the religious spiritual experiences as part of our evolutionary journey for which all these people are engaged in. Now, also, it's clearly established, um, Strabo actually states that the Gauls in France did paint their bodies when they had spiritual experiences. Now, if anyone on this planet on the face of this earth, would paint their bodies in a spiritual experience. Why would you paint your body in a spiritual experience in bright colours unless you have having a spiritual experience where you and your body transformed into bright colours? Now, why is it that people are seeming to omit and forget to talk about the Gauls doing that when, in the Iron Age, when they only seem to mention the pics in Scotland painting the bodies, right? Now, let's see. Hmm, pics are painting the bodies. Why would they do that? Well, why would the tattoo paint the bodies? Well, if it weren't for something to do with a uh, you know, religious spiritual experience which we were engaged in, which happens to be what the girls were doing as well. Also, which they seem to forget that one out, even though it's plainly written and recorded, right? Now, let me see. Hmm, an ancient burial culture which, you know, has a fondness of writing drawings of their spiritual experiences on the walls of sheltered um, caves and also, you know, um, looking after the dead people and burying them fully, not partially, with entrances completely, spreading all the way up through um, Spain and France, Gaul, and all through um, Albion and Ireland and up to Scotland. What a coincidence! And... Also, we get a um, variant on some of these structures that actually turns more from a circle into an elongation, right? Wow, as they are learning more and more and more and studying about their environment, as well as the inside journey, they're learning, learning more and more about the outer journey as they travel up and the forces, like, you know, the birds have got to travel north, particularly when they've all been booted off the desert because it dried up and they had to be forced out of there anyway. Now... 
The problem with Jenkins is that he, he doesn't seem to like this word that is a widespread, like a shotgun blast word that covers everyone, right? He wants to say, well, these are Scots, these are Irish, these are English, you know, these are French or whatever. But the problem with Jenkins is he's trying to label everything like, you know, he, he wants to eat the dictionary and he wants a word, every, he wants he's, he wants to get a ruler out and then, you know, there's three millimetre, four millimetre, five millimetre, six millimetre, seven millimetre, and he wants to say, this is not a ruler. These are not the Celts, right? You know, um, there's no such thing. And he wants to say, this is one millimetre, this is two millimetre, this is three millimetre, this is four millimetre, and then there's 2.5, you know. He, 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 but, you know, we've got that anyway, you know. Oh, these are humans. It's, 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 it's a no-brainer, you know. We've got humans who, right, are developing, you know, through the Stone Age, and the Bronze Age and Iron Age, and gradually getting new technologies that are swapping about, right? But the fact is that they do have the origins of the same spiritual and religious origins. Now, the only problem is, is when you start getting too many different gods and too many different names, and people start calling them different things, then you get problems, because that's what scientists like doing now. Then we've got leptons, and neutrons, and protons, and, you know, all these other things that they're adding names in. That's what they were doing before, adding more gods in, and adding more, um, you know, names in for things, right? Just more different names to describe different forces or energies at work in the human... Um, faculties, you know, in, in the human arena. That's all it is. Now, the problem is, you know, it's almost like saying, you might, if, if you, you, Jenkins, you might as well say, you know, there's no such thing as a human. <laughs> you might as well say that. There never was humans. There were only, you know, Chinese people, Indians, Africans, but then they said, so, well, that's racist, you know. So well, there's no such thing as Celts, you know, there were Scottish, Irish, you know, it, it's, it, 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 uh, to even talk about it or entertain, you know, it's ridiculous because the word actually is not even that relevant to what area you even freaking lived in. It's irrelevant if you're in Scotland. It's irrelevant if you're in Ireland. It's irrelevant if you're in Albion. It's irrelevant if you're in Gaul because the actual word actually stems from that Kali word and it is the, to do with the rebirth experience and the spiritual experience that was known to a people, right? Which you might as well say, well, you know, that's religion, but what about mathematics? Well, they've got a counting system, you know, one, two, three, four, you know, on the Irish lotto, it sounds like more like they're calling out bingo numbers now, you know, it's like bingo wings, it's like, you know, um, do de do do de do you know, it's doughy egg and whatever it is, you know, it, it, it's, what's that? It's counting, you know? Well, you know, there was no, there's no such thing as in the European culture that spread from, you know, um, you know, Indian Africa. Well, well, there is Jenkins because why have they got the same number counting system? You know, you retard, you know, oh, one, two, three, four. Where did that come from? One, two, three, four, knock on my door, you know? It's it, it, it's just ridiculous that Jenkins... It's just his approach to it. The entire approach to it is just pointless. It's a pointless approach. It's a pointless argument. It's to do... The, the, the word is actually only as relevant as saying that, you know, have we all got one, two, three, four, five, six? These are the one, two, three, four, five, six people, you know? These are the one, two, three, four, five, six people. These are the counting people. You might as well call them the counts. You know, oh, the count, the counting people. You know, it's the, it's the, you might as well be the counts. You know, it's like Count Dracula. One, ha, uh, 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 Two, uh, 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 Three, uh, 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 Four gods, uh, 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 uh. You know, it's like Badba. You know, you got all these different gods. You know, you might as well count numbers and count gods. What? Well, what is the point? You know, at the end of the day, they're numbers, you know, you might as well just refer to them as the counting people. You know, who are the people, you know, that the Irish and Indian people, you know, evolved from with the same language? Who are the counting people, you know? Well, who are these people here that the uh, gods have evolved from? Well, the counting people, you know? So it, it's just, it, it's just ridiculous. 
You might as well say, this is the thing, right? If you wanted to not use the, you know, tag of, you know, the Celts, you might as well use the axe tag, you know? Oh, these were the, you know, the axe people, you know? Well, there was no such thing as the axe people. Well, there must have been because they were all using axes, you know? Well, you know, are they using axes or not? Well, yeah, they are. Well, there's the, the axe people. It's almost like that BKP people term, which is being fabricated and made up. The beaky people. They like to call it beaky people because it's like beaks, isn't it? You know, oh, beak people like the beaky people. It's just political. It's a political, you know, they conjured that beaky people up. In fact, Jenkins needs to go take a walk, you know, and, and, and uh, Jenkins' book needs to be, there is no such thing as the beaky people, you know, because it's the same argument, but no one's coming out with there's no such thing as the beaky people because they like it. it's a political term. It's as important to archaeologists, the Beaky people, politically, as it's important to now say that we're all going woke uh, and it's not enlightened because they're trying to make woke be, you know, they want they don't want people to be enlightened because that is, it's non-profit based. To be enlightened is to not go corporate and not need profits and, you know, it's not profitable to be, have peace and love and enlightenment, it's not good for business, it's not good for Rothschild, it's not good for Prince Charles, it's not good for Prince Andrew, it's not good for Earl Dartsmouth, it's not good for Cat, um, you know, um, Diggers, it's not good for Balfour Beatty, it's not good for Reese Mogg, it, enlightenment is not good for the Conservative Party, it is a nightmare of a disaster, enlightenment is an empty wallet for the Tories, there could not be no bigger nightmare of a terrifying horror to befall the planet for everyone to become enlightened because the Tories absolutely are opposed to enlightenment. So they get a new word, which is work, and they latch it onto their political correctness, which is where we're bringing loads of new weird laws out, which you will obey to, like, put fences around schools. It's not work to hang around schoolyards. Um, it's not work to, you know, shout at someone if you're annoyed with them, you know, and it's, it's not work to, um, you know, have a guard without a fence on it or whatever, have a security gate, you know. Um, only you know, work people have security gates on the fence, which is, you know, it's not enlightenment, is it, you know. Um, he's, the, the Tories warping, you know, and if everyone starts built, voting for Liberal Democrats, then suddenly the Tories, you know, we're Liberals, you know. Vote for us, we're Liberals, because Liberal actually, didn't you know, actually, Liberal meant Tory, you know, we didn't know that until Trudeau started getting into government, you know. In Canada, actually, you know, now they've managed to convince Canadians that Trudeau is Liberal, and he's never seen Liberal. We're, we're all Liberal in Canada now. Yeah, right, Trudeau, shut up, you liar. You know, it's just ridiculous. It's the insanity of it. You know, it, it's it, joke, jokers like this coming out with joke books. You know, Celts, a skeptical history. You know, skeptical. It, 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 this this guy needs to get a job writing children's books. He, he's not. You know, he's Jenkins is not qualified to go buy lunch for the examiner. You know. Jenkins, you know, he, he's dangerous, you know, being given 20 quid to go to the sandwich shop to, to buy the sandwiches for the Guardian, you know. He's seriously, he's, he's, he's just ridiculous, you know. And if you if you don't think that my opinion is worth anything, then fair enough. I don't even need to go through this because, you know, I've read the comments of what other people have said about it on the group, you know. And um, it's, 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 it's just pseudo, you know, it... it, it is just pseudo um, speculation, you know. Never mind skeptical. It's just it's clearly obvious what the and, and even even back then, you know, th there were people who were educated in um, you know nature and the religion and things like that, and there were people who weren't as much so. But, you know, it, 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 the, all you have to do is look through all the different writings that we've got, which, you know, the, there is a certain volumes on um, writing about the Celts, and there's quite a few contradictions in those. Strabo contradicts some of the other writers, and him, even himself, so 
he, he, he's clearly either biased or he, he, he's not telling the truth in some instances because he contradicts himself. And then in other instances, it's just clearly obvious to work out what it is. Um, and then, you know, he, 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 he's, it's actually about, I know what it's about. It's about people who haven't got a clue what they're talking about. And that is what is we're about now. You know, we've got a prime minister of the whole of England who's just been interviewed by mum's net which is the opinion of the majority of mums in the entire country and he was absolutely you know annihilated on the spot and he's meant to be the prime minister of england and that is what the opinion of the country is um of him yet you know um i don't know what the tory parties are putting in his um coffee but it must be something that gives him the superhuman ability to sit there and get absolutely annihilated by mum's net and just, you know, not be bothered, you know, <laughs> because, you know, the prime ministers have fallen. Theresa May, David Cameron recently, when David Cameron's a high investor in BlackRock and Vanguard, which are making profits out of decisions that the Tories are telling their local councillors to do in development projects around England, you know, you got to know what's going on. Some people knew what was going on back then, and some people know what's going on now. Now, Jenkins, right, I don't think Jenkins knew what was going on back then, and I don't think Jenkins really knows what's going on now, Either. Because, you know, he, he works for a newspaper that is, frankly, you know, he, he's affiliated with profits and corporate enterprise by um, an e e extremely suspicious um, investment group who are found to be in complete control and dominance of the entire planet only since the last 900 years mainly because of lying, cheating and stealing and thieving from people and using Christian religion to, you know, force people into doing things for them. Um, it, it, they're not nice people. You know, it, in fact, their specialist skill is lying, cheating, stealing and deception and <laughs> taking people's money from them and putting them at loss and making a gain out of it, which is the legal definition of theft, you know. So... You know, how have they managed to get into that position? Well, I think it's because we are quite, um, we're, we're too, we, we are too liberal. In a way, we're sort of too liberal, you know, but yet we, we vote for Labour because, well, one third of us are liberal. One third of us vote for Labour because they like to think that they're not liberal, but yet they've been duped in uh, being addicted to the produce of, you know, these. Um, this this group and entity that want more, and they're easily misled. And then, you know, this group said, right, you know, there's this liberal um, culture, and um, they think that they, you know, they, they they're all for freedom and peace and love. Well, we'll show them, you know, and we'll seduce them into our grapes and wine and produce and merchant value and money, and we'll, you know, get them. You know, we, we, we've got to sell it. It's all about the sales pitch. You know, we, we, we'll corrupt them. And we have gradually been corrupted. Uh, but yet, we, there's always been waves of retaliation when the religion has tried to come through and persevere. But the religion gets warped and perverted. And there's, But yet, there's the theme. They still pretend there's a good theme to it, which is, you know, forgive people and share things and don't be greedy. It's a sin. There is this flavor this 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 um this ambition to have we know what good is we know what goodness is and we know what loving kindness is and there's always this you know people talk about it but it never seems to get there it always seems to the liars and the cheats and the stealers always seem to corrupt that vision and they keep selling telling people you know this, you know, sharing love, and but it always then gets bent into this pursuit of glory and moreish fame, and then they get other people to want more of it, like Ant and Deck and TV and Philip Schofield. Uh, but then, no, oh, he's a good guy, you know. You know, I'm trying to help people. I'm, I'm entertaining you. I'm entertaining you. I'm, I'm entertaining you, and I'm, you know, we're having a laugh here. Like it's comedy, it's entertainment, and we're all come in, come on down into the show. Come on, appreciate the show. Get into the studio. Everyone's clapping. Everyone likes it when we do turn the effects off, you know. And then, 
oh, we've got a studio full of people, you know, they're all making comments. Yeah, well, there's a website full of people there who say you're all, you know, greedy wankers full of crap. And you, you know, um, <laughs> he's in Vandal's pursuit of money. You know, and now we're all addicted to the lottery because they all want us to have excess in more, chase the money, chase the money. Oh, well, all the time, Blackwick and Vanguard are making these massive amounts of cash and putting themselves in the stratosphere, you know. Uh, but yeah, you know, the Pope Francis is supposed to be exercising the demons in them, but unfortunately, um, it doesn't seem to be working too well, you know. But, you know, only in the last 900 years. It's just, I think it's a succession of conflict between... You know this 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 ambition for goodness, um, but yet the people succumb to the corruption and greed. And now, unfortunately, the progress of mankind has evolved these devices which are meant to help us, but unfortunately, they end up helping the wrong side because. Really, a mobile phone is very useful if you're in an emergency and you're out in the middle of nowhere and you're up in the late district, you, know, you can pick up your telephone and say, I'm in trouble, I got stuck, you know, and get some to help you. But then, you know, you've got a bag full of 18 Mars bars and packet of crisps that you've bought and then you go into the pub as well on the way back and, you know, and then all these things that you shouldn't need and then you're eating pizza bread and garlic bread when you should be eating, you know, spinach, le spinach with nettle leaves and, you know, garlic leaves mixed in together. Mwah, it tastes beautiful, give you all that potassium and magnesium and then your bones wouldn't have been, you know, teeth wouldn't have been falling out with a kennel mint cake and, you know, your bones wouldn't have bent over like Yoda by the time you get to 80 and all this and that. It's just this, it's a conflict between stupidity and intelligence and right and wrong all the way. And unfortunately, the only progress that the devices have given us is really uh, tools that have actually helped the conflict get worse. You know, there's an evolution of mankind that progress, you know, unfortunately, Rothschild, Prince Charles, um, and Prince Andrew uh, and, you know, the Queen don't want to click their fingers and have everyone happy and not being annoyed by other people r ruining everything. They're more concerned about clicking their fingers and them having, you know, they're not, they're not content with the money from the taxes paying for the country to be run and them getting a nice little bit of money on the side that they wanted to click their fingers and then them make as much money as what the country is getting in turnover for themselves so they could then dictate and own what the companies are doing tell them what brands are going to be made who's going to succeed who's going to fail and they wanted to be the omnipotent beings who dictate what happens in the reality in the fabric of the universe because they actually believe that they themselves are gods and the normal people shouldn't have access to religious powers and understanding and enlightenment so we could use it so everyone is more equal in understanding and understands the problems of greed and corruption and, you know, not pursue the Philip Schofield goals and pursue of having the attention of every single living person on the entire face of the fucking planet because it is retarded. It is a retarded pursuit that only a moron would pursue. Only a moron of... Philip Schofield's intellect would pursue such an ambition and goal and get everyone else into it and enjoying it as well, you know, and then so they can, while you're distracted with, you know, um, Mark Zuckerberg's Ray-Bans, absolutely write off your entire neighbourhood around you and your heritage and culture of which you evolved from and build new apartment blocks and flats around you, which you can't stand looking at, so you've got to leave the Ray-Bans on. Um, and you don't even know who you are, where you come from, or anything. All that we've got is uh, a memorial of, you know, the World War II, and, you know, here's Sir uh, Lance, you know, God knows who, Sir uh, freaking Tony Blair, tribute outside, because that is the only history they want you to have. That is the only history they want you to know. Tony Blair came, so he conquered. There's Churchill. There's Balmoral. There's, you know, nothing exists. You know, oh, what's that? Oh, it's just you know, a grotto. You know, it, it, it's nothing. You know, it's been ploughed over. 
there's nothing to know there. Oh, well, what's this religious business that Dennis McKenna's talking about? Oh, no, don't, get in, don't pay attention to that. Here's the Archbishop with the sermon. We've got it all down in this book. You know, this is our version of things, you know. Oh, is it? Is it? Oh, well, yeah, do you want to buy some shares in it? Well, you know, there's Blackrock and Vanguard. Buy some shares in it because, you know, David Cameron and Reese Mogg are selling shares in it. Suits, suits, got any suits, suits, suits. This Reese Mogg, I, I deal in numbers, you know. My numbers will solve all the problems, you know. Six, six, higher than a six. You want a three, higher than a three, lower than a three, higher than a three. Numbers will solve all your problems, you know. He's a number, there's a number, there's a number. He's got a number, he's got a number. What's your number? Numbers are the solution to everything, you know, which actually numbers are the solution to nothing. Nothing. They're not the solution to anything whatsoever because, you know, there is the sun. And look, there is a tree growing. What, you know, how much does that cost? Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. What's the number of that? Nothing. There's an apple. Yum, yum, in my tum. Nothing. Look, right? And what's the profit on that? Nothing. There is no profit. I don't need any profit. It costs me nothing. And there is no profit of anything whatsoever. And to put, you know, the cream on the cream, I'll take a dump over the tree and it'll absorb it into the floor and it'll, you know, it'll be good for the roots. You know, no need for any stupid, um, you know, waste of disposal pipeline. You know, there's another waste of more numbers. Because, you know, it's just these men want clinical. I think they want to live. They don't like the earth. Reese, Reese, Jeff, I don't even think Elon likes the earth, really. They want to get off the earth. Branson wants to go out in space and explore. You know, Branson, he doesn't really like the Earth because that's why he's on his island with, you know, clear ocean and nothing to annoy him, no neighbours to annoy him, no battle for beauty to beat him, no care traffic, you know, next to him scamming him. You know, we've got to watch all his adverts out here, you know, put with all the chaos, but he can retreat away to his island, but that he's not even far enough. Branson, he doesn't like this planet. He, he wants to leave... And I don't think Jeff likes it either. He wants to leave. They, they don't really want to spend their money on us. They don't really want to spend their money on us getting along. They're not really spiritually interested in us. Uh, all they want to do is sell, them, sell us their products. Oh, yeah, the products will solve everything. Numbers, numbers, I'm making loads of money. You know, Jeff is making a fortune. And he's not really interested in the concept that Half of the products he's selling might not be a good idea. They might be bad. You know, they might be terrible. Jeff doesn't want to explore the possibility, the thought that what he's doing is wrong and it's a complete mess and nightmare. The concept of that, you know, is out of Jeff's mind and he's not really bothered about that as long as it's getting him into space because Jeff doesn't really like it. He wants to go away to another place. And Mark doesn't even, Mark does not really like reality because if he did, he wouldn't be so obsessed with his Ray Bans, which he's more obsessed with his metaverse and the Ray Bans than he's actually with solving the real problems out in reality. I don't think that he does. There is progress in mankind to be made other than technology, right? Because technology is actually causing a lot of the problems because he's unrestrained. And the part of knowing something and understanding what we should be doing is knowing when to stop for a while and not do anything and not just lock everyone down with COVID. You know, maybe Boris should stop developing and stop doing highways. <gasps> oh, my God. Battle for beat. It cannot be beaten. You know, that's a problem. You know, and this is what Jenkins needs to be writing in his newspaper, but he doesn't want to write it because he's on the payroll of Black and Vanguard. That uh, you know, they're they're the reason why we've got all these problems. You know, and if he gets if he writes it, he'll be sacked. You know, that's the problem. So you know, and you know what you know what what annoys me is Dennis McKenna and you know um, Joe Rogan and Russell Brand could quite easily 
you know, say to all the people who watch their channel, you know, sign this petition, let's legalise psychedelics and get everybody back into the religion again, because that's what Dennis thinks, you know, why wouldn't he want to do that? And there's three million signatures and then we'll all vote on it and then it'll be in the newspapers and then Jenkins will be writing about something interesting, you know, when we're having a referendum on whether we should legalise psychedelics with the actual real factual evidence. But I don't think Jenkins wants to talk about the real factual evidence, he just wants to talk about kids put silly mushroom photos on the front cover um, you know, or write it in clever people, in academic language, you know, we're not really talking about, um, you know, the mushrooms, we'll just give, you know, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, I know what you're talking about here, it's Dr. No on the radio, you know what I mean, it's, uh, Jenkins, he, he needs to get a grip, you know, and instead of, you know, his book banging on about, you know, this whole stupid Kelt issue, he, he needs to, you know, get, get into the modern now world, the modern issue, because, you know, if he did, um, you know, if if, if, if the, they, they did start talking about petitioning to legalise psychedelics, which you could quite easily do and get three million signatures, uh, then maybe then people would actually know what the Celt word meant and means um, and Kali, God, and, you know, and, and then actually they'd know what they were talking about rather than Jenkins, who hadn't got a clue what he's talking about, you know? And that's what it comes down to, you know? We, we've got no evidence whatsoever, really, that... Um, Jenkins, as I got a clue, he's talking about, 